in Ireland, north and south. You're talking about the lads are, you know, it's difficult maybe for them to get a break. Is it difficult to, in your position, to get the breakthrough, you know, to get the, uh, the to get the big boots, yeah. to get the fights? Because mm. I'm sure if you get the fights, you'll get the support here in Belfast, yes. won't you? Yes, it's like everything, it's, it's, everything comes at a price, you know. These guys, you know, sacrifice their, their time and obviously they're young men, they want to go out and enjoy themselves, but they have the, the same dream that Carl Frampton had and Carl Frampton made the same sacrifices. So a bit of dedication and they'll go all the way, but in terms of financially, it's a big, big burden on, on, on me, my family, everybody, but I, I, even, you know, everyone wants paid. You know, it's not a, an amateur game, it's, a, it's mm -hmm. a professional sport. I mean, it's really peanuts what they get if you work it out over the hours to put in in the gym. But, you know, if they get there one night, you know, if that Odyssey can be filled one night, you know, it's all reap its rewards for, for what for what they've done and achieved that myself, like, hopefully. Now, you've got James Friars and James Tennyson with us here today in McLean's, and uh, you have big plans for these lads in 2016. Yeah. You possibly could have fights, sell-out fights in Belfast, yeah. British eliminators mm. actually fighting for British titles yeah. as well. Yeah. It's exciting times for you. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, I've started attracting TV now. I have a, one of the a fantastic stable. It's not just these two. These two, as I say, Paul has taken, a, a, you know, taken an eye to them. So he's obviously identified that they're good kids and wants to be involved and without his help I couldn't do when it. When you but say Paul, you mean McLean? Paul McLean, the, yeah. the managing director of McLean Bookmakers. And, you know, his father was a boxing man. It's just, it's, if it's in the blood, it's in the blood. You know, my family was boxing. It's just, you know, it's an obsession. You know, it's an obsession boxing. It's not, you know, in fact, BJ who often said, you know, it was, it was the least uh, financially rewarding of the, the, the businesses that he was involved in. But, you know, it gave him a great pleasure. And he's right, it's not like horses where, you know, you can't talk to them. These, these guys are, you know, you can have a, a relationship mm -hmm. with them, you know. And Mark, of course, 2016, I know it's difficult to get, you know, to, to get the breaks, but you've got big plans for everybody for 2016 if they work out. Yes, yes. I, as I say, if I can get one of the guys a national title, which is obviously, you know, like a British title, you know, then the doors are just totally open. If one guy, Joe Fitzpatrick, who won the Commonwealth Games silver medals last year in uh, in Glasgow? He's already been fixed up with Frank Warren, one of the biggest promoters in the UK. He's a 